Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to the channel, all you weird miniature painting lovers out there. Especially when it's a weird miniature. Because this is the Cactus Queen from Zombicide Undead or Alive's Dead West Stretch Goals box. Yep, and we're starting off with a Necrotic Flesh uh, primer and then using the airbrush for an underpainting of Savage Green. Uh, just to get the underneath to really get a dark shadow part underneath and then the green skin for the top and then the feral green for a very quick highlight on just the raised areas just to really get this cactus looking amazing before we do the washes fairy pink now again and this is another uh triad of colors from the army painters air paint range we're doing the under parts well most of the parts of all these like flowery things on the cactus uh not the spikes but the flower parts and if I go over a little bit like of overpainting, I find that's like, kind of cool because it'll give the cactus some life to it kind of thing. Now, if you're an airbrush painter and you use these color triads, an army painter, if you actually watch my videos, this would be cool for you to answer. I'm not sure if I should be putting a wash on after any kind of shades or anything like that because I find it's going to mix all the color together and I get exactly the same thing like it just I lose all this shadowy stuff so is it my fault for doing this should I've done a different shade because look at all the contrast colors here okay like you see the dark green you see the lighter green you see the darker pink you see the really nice light pink uh, it really does a good job doing all that and then I decided to put some Beale Tan Green with this Citadel shade on everything that was green but in the end, when I when it dries, and you saw it maybe in the picture, you might see it more in the end. But I find you lose all of that nice, like, highlighting and coloration and the different colors and all that. I find it just darkened everything to the same green. Now, should I have put just Null Oil or uh, Agrax Urchade? Maybe the green was the issue here. Um, maybe I should just put, like, a dark wash from Army Painter on top of it. So anyone who's doing these color triads or uses an airbrush uh, for this kind of stuff, is that my error? Did I should I have not put even a shade on and just left it? To me, it looked a little, little too ch like chalky and little like not realistic for the painting wise. And now I'm using that Kerberg Crimson uh, on all the pink areas. And again, see, you're losing all that nice highlight. And I was like, oh, this is kind of disappointing. It's still kind of there. And I tried to get just a recess and I was just dabbing it on mostly not like slopping it all over the place But you know, I mean I really wanted this cactus queen to look really cool and really awesome looking and I don't know. I just found it like kind of just made it all look the same all these colors So I was kind of disappointed in that again, please comment down below what you think uh, Join my discord channel as well. The link is in the description uh, and you can come chat about this Cactus Queen a little bit more, but there you have it, folks. Within like a couple minutes, maybe like six, seven minutes, you'll have this thing painted in no time and uh, ready for the table. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did. Even if you didn't, hit that like button anyways. Leave a comment down below what you're working on. If you have any painting questions, miniature questions, zombie side questions, I'll be glad to answer them. I love reading comments and I love answering you guys. Again, thank you for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.